Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <coughs> Hello everyone. This is your math teacher. I am Asim Shahid, and today I am going to start my second lecture. First of all, I am going to share your book page, page number six. Dear students, last time we were discussing. about five digit number today in this lecture we will discuss about six digit number students look at the screen all of you know that largest five digit number is Ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. When we add one, we get one lakh a hundred thousand. This is smallest six-digit number. Smallest six-digit smallest six-digit number is written as one with How many zeros? One, two, three, four, five zeros. This is also called one lakh, or we can read it as one hundred thousand. One lakh is written one comma then two zero, then three zeros, and how we write one thousand? A hundred thousand, write hundred with three thousand. This is six-digit number. This is also six-digit number. Both numbers are equal. It means one lakh is equal to one hundred thousand. Means, in other words, you can say we can express six-digit number into two ways. The first way is pakistani way the second one is international way in pakistani way we called it 1 lakh and in international way in other words you can say it is 100000 therefore 1 lakh equal to 100000 just difference is that whenever you want to write a six digit number in pakistani way and international way you must put, in pakistani way you must put the comma after after three digit digits then after two digit but in international way first you put the comma after three then after three then after three in pakistani way after three then two then two so this is the sequence now i am going to move how we write six digit number in period boys look at this chart at this period in whenever we want to write a read six digit number in pakistani way we must put the number in three portion look at here this is first portion this is second portion and this is third portion first portion is called ones second thousands and third lakhs in first portion first portion is consist of three digits 1 10 Hundred. Second portion consists of two digits: thousand, ten thousand. Third portion consists of two portion: lakh, ten lakh. So once again, I want to tell you: one with five zero, it is called one lakh, and it is the smallest six-digit number. 
here in question one, we are going to write the six digit number in words and numbers. Statement one, write the number names. Example is given two with five zero. After three digit there is comma, after two digit there is comma. It means this number is given in Pakistani way and in words we can write two lakh. Similarly, we will write this number four lakh, five lakh, seven lakh, eleven lakh. In question two, write the number placing your com commas correctly and then write in digit form. 3 lakh, 1 lakh, 9 lakh, 12 lakh. In 5 lakh, write 5 with 5 zero. After 5, then put comma, then 2 digit, then 3 digits. Look at here, here in page 6, write the number name 9 lakh is written as 9 with 5 0, 1 lakh, 1 with 5 0, 9 lakh, 9 with 5 zeros, 12 lakh, 12 with 5 zeros. Question 3 Add the missing commas. Here, 6 digits numbers are given. So, we want to write these number in Pakistani way. In next page, we will discuss about how we write the number in international way and how we express the number in international way and where we put the commas. Whenever you want to write any number in Pakistani way, so you must put the comma after three digit, then after two digit. Here after th three digit put comma after two digit. So how we read this number? Three lakh forty thousand eight hundred and sixteen. There are three portion. First portion, second portion, third portion. Similarly, part B. After three put comma after two. Two put comma. Here after three after two. After three after two. How we read this number? Two lakh two lakh. 90,000, 100 is missing and, seven, and 62. Similarly here, 9 lakh, 10,000 and 1,000 both are missing. Therefore, we will read this number as 9 lakh, 700, 3 lakh, 1,000 and 10. Question 4. Place the six digit numbers in periods and write their names. Their names. Number are given without commas. Look at the first one. 510937. So first of all, we will put the comma after three digit then after two these commas help us to read the number easily now first we divide this number into three portion by putting commas you know how to put commas after three digit put first comma after three digits then two digits and last one will remain as it is. Five lakh ten thousand nine hundred and thirty seven. Similarly, in part B, first we will put comma after three, after two. Then we write the given number in words. When we put the commas, we get three portions one, two, three. This is the portion of lakh thousands and ones. 
nine lakh six thousand four hundred and three. Similarly, one lakh ninety six thousand six hundred and twenty one. Here, two lakh forty thousand six hundred and eighty. Now question 5 is the reciprocal of question 4. Here 6 digits number are given in words and we have to write the number in digit form. 5 lakh 19,000. Look at this statement. In this statement we have also 3 portion. So first portion there is a comma. After first portion there is comma. After second portion there is comma and there is a third portion. So first portion is 5 lakh. There is this word 5, write 5. Then put comma according to given order. After that, how many thousands here? 19. Then put 19. And after that, put to that write third portion. Third portion is 302. 302. So the statements are given in three portion. Therefore, you have to write the number according to commas and according to given period. Nine lakh two hundred so two thousand five hundred and sixteen. So first we write nine then 10,000 is missing and only 2,000 is given. So we write 0 to and after that we write 516, 516, 516. In statement C, 4 lakh 951. Here 1,000, 10,000 and 1,000, both are missing. Therefore, we write 4. Instead of 1000 and 10,000, we will put 0. And at the end, we will write 951. Means first portion is given. Second portion, portion of thousands, portion of thousand is missing. And then we write third portion. And say the portion which is missing, we put 0, 0 instead of missing portion. Now, boys, <clears throat> I am going to tell you how we write six digit number in international way. And also, I am telling you how we compare Pakistani place value chart with international place value chart. Look at this page, page number seven. there are two charts first chart place value chart is given in pakistani way second is is in international way in in pakistan and other parts of south asia this number is called this number is called one leg and but elsewhere in the world it is called one hundred thousand we can write one hundred then put comma and then three zero it is called one hundred thousand and this is called one leg here is a number 284630 written in two different ways. All of you know that boys in Pakistani way we have three portions. One one thousands lakhs but in on the other hand, 
In international way, we have two portion, ones and thousands. In first portion, we have three digits. And in second portion, we have also three digits. The place value of first portion, place values are one, ten, hundred. And the place values of second portion, thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand. H T mean hundred thousand. T T mean ten thousand, and T H mean thousand. Now look at the solution of page seven. First of all, remember that one lakh equal to one hundred thousand. How we write one lakh in digit form? One with two zero, then with three zero, and hundred thousand. Write hundred with three zero. Here we have two portions. Here we have three portions. One, two, three. Place the six-digit number in periods. First in the Pakistani way, then in international way. Here. some numbers are given and we are going to put these number in pakistani order and international order in pakistani order put two commas first comma after three digit and second comma after two digit here after three put comma after two digit digits put comma similarly after three digits put comma after two digit put comma And how we read this number? Four lakh five thousand three hundred. Eight lakh. Eight lakh fifty four thousand and twenty nine. Similarly, you can put commas after three digits of two digits. Here, very simple. Just put the comma after three digit. How we read this number? First, we read this portion on three digit. Eight hundred and fifty four thousand. This is the portion of thousand. How many thousands here? Eight hundred and fifty-four thousand and twenty-nine. How many thousands here? Four hundred and five. How many thousands here? Seven hundred and three. How many thousands here? One hundred and sixty-two. How many thousands here? Three hundred thousand. Eight hundred and twenty thousand. Four hundred and five thousand three hundred. Seven hundred and three thousand one hundred and sixty-four, one hundred and sixty-two thousand eight hundred and two, three hundred thousand six hundred and eighty-nine, and the last one is eight hundred and twenty thousand and thirty-six. Or you can say. Eight hundred twenty thousand and thirty-six. The next one, question two. The statement of two is, is write these number numbers according to international period. So numbers are given. Sorry, here here should be Pakistan, not international. Pakistani numbers are given very simple. Put in Pakistani order. Write copy same number. Just put comma after three digits, then after two. One lakh four thousand six hundred and ninety-five. Similarly, put commas after three digits, then after two. That's it. In question three, write the given numbers according to Pakistani period. So here is international, not Pakistan. International period. In international period, put comma after three digits. It's okay. Then three digits will remain as it is. Just put comma after. Three digits. Put comma after three digits. And how we read these numbers? The first one, 
seven hundred and fifty three thousand and twenty eight two hundred seventy thousand and forty two similarly four hundred thousand and twenty eight nine hundred and nine thousand five hundred and ten the next question is write the number names dear students these numbers are given in international way so that is why we have one comma and two portion square first we write this portion this is what 422 422 this is the portion of 1000 so after this put comma this is first portion this is first portion and this is second portion here in part B, 900 and 9,000. First portion, after first portion put comma, then the second portion is 999, 999. There are two portions to write this number. Similarly, three, Hundred and fifty one thousands. Write in words three hundred and fifty one thousand. The second portion is six hundred and two. This is second portion. So write six hundred and two. Here the last number is five hundred thousand. Five. 500 so this is first portion then put comma and the second portion portion is 384 384 in this way you can write you remember the names of these number by portion question four is the reciprocal of question three here six digit number numbers are given in international way and we have to put these number in numerals 500 and the first one is 520,000 is the first portion the second portion is 631 so the first portion is 520,000. So we write 520. Second portion, I'm highlighting two different portion with different colors. This is second portion, we write three, 631. Second portion. Similarly, we can write these two numbers as well. Inshallah, in next lecture, we will study about the place value of digits in six-digit number. Thank you and Allah.